Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 11 May Military Appreciation Week opening ceremony. The purpose of today is to recognize all the Davenport and Quad City veterans, military, and military families, and of course, uh, the ones that have passed. We're going we're gonna to start the Military Appreciation Week, we hope, with a ceremony here at Veterans Memorial Park to recognize all our Davenport and Quad City veterans and military families uh, that have served uh, and are serving and of course have paid the ultimate sacrifice. My name is Alderman Mike Matson, and I'll be your host for the ceremony. Um, I'd like to welcome everyone and just so everybody's aware I have some thanks to give out because you've noticed a lot of uh, flowers and uh, some uh, landscaping that have went on so a thanks to Scott Hoke and the Parks Department for the wonderful flowers. Thanks to the Public Works Department Brian Shatt for the, ban the new banners. Uh, thanks to Tiffany Thompson our Council Secretary who quite frankly put this all together. Uh, she just told me what to say. Thanks to uh, uh, the Council, Danport City Council, for the continued support of veterans and Veterans Memorial Park, to our mayor, um, and then to many representatives, and I'll go through those. Thanks to uh, Iowa State Representative Jim Lycom for uh, joining us, Jim. Uh, thanks to Steve Garrington representing the Honor Flight. The Davenport uh, Chapter 2 of the Disabled American Veterans, Tom Simmons. Thank you to the Military Officers Association, Richard Lowe. Uh, thank you to American Legion Post 26, Joe Sire, and many of the members. Thank you to Vietnam Veterans Chapter 299, uh, Andy Anderson and his wonderful color guard, and to Chapter 776. Thank you to v uh, Veterans of Foreign Wars Post 928. Thank you to the Rock Island Arsenal, the Scott County Veterans Affairs Commission, the Friends of Veterans of Morrow Park, Levy Commission members, many of who are here today, and of course, Councilman Boom Grip, Justin and Ambrose who are in attendance and I hope I didn't miss anyone. And then a special recognition we have with us today a World War II veteran who's 94 years old, Erwin Hebner. So without further ado I'd ask everyone to please stand. As Vietnam Veterans Post Chapter uh, 299 will present the colors and I'm happy to uh, recognize Dennis, Brian Dennis from Davenport Central High School who is uh, gracious enough to sing our national anthem. Brian. dawn's early light, what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. O'er the land of the free and the home of the brave. Thank you, Dennis. Very nice. I'm now pleased to introduce, for a few remarks, our mayor of the city of Davenport, Mayor Frank Klipsch. Mayor. Well, thank you very much for this opportunity to be here with you all today uh, on the beautiful Mississippi River and this beautiful park. And I see a lot of other individuals that help make this possible. One thing I wanted to start with, not only at recognizing my fellow, the fellow aldermen here today, but uh, we're all very, very supportive of this project and very, very thankful for our uh, armed services and all the individuals that uh, are made up of that fine group and protect us all. 
But I also want to make sure we know that we have a champion for this cause, and I want to thank Alderman Matson for all of his hard work. Let's give him a round of applause. He's led us in this process, and we all wanted to do it and needed as any organization, especially the military exemplifies, uh, leadership is all what it's about. And we want to thank all of you for that and all of the, and the gentleman that was in a World War II veteran, thank you for being here, but all of you, thank you for, for being here as well. Each of our wars and standing today in our armed forces, thank you all for your service. The city of Davenport is very supportive of this. This week begins, next, or actually next Monday, begins Military Appreciation Week, and we will have free golf at our golf courses, riding on city bus. Uh, there's a, tickets for the River Bandits for any military people. There's a lot of those kind of activities that are going to be available, and we want to show in a small way how appreciative we are for the work that you've done, continue to do, and protect the freedoms that we have to stand here today in this beautiful sunshiny day on the river in the Mississippi. So thank you all very much. And I have an honor uh, to be able to meet, again, we have to realize the strength of the Rock Island Arsenal that is nearby us, how important that is to our community in a variety of ways, and how important it is to the armed forces around this world. Uh, the Army Sustainment Command really is providing resources and services through our military, wherever they fight, all over the United, all over not only the United States and represent us here, but literally all over the globe. So we want to thank them for that. And I have the honor of introducing Army Sustainment Command Chief of, Chief of Staff, Colonel Lance Koenig. Let's give him a round of applause. Wow, what a great day, uh, finally. Uh, Mayor Klipsch, members of the City Council and fellow, fellow citizens, thank you for inviting me to this ceremony. I'm here representing all the members of the armed forces, past and present. And I'm proud to stand before you in recognition of the sacrifices that so many have made for our great nation. This is also a time to recognize the contribution of the Quad Cities to the armed forces. The men and women of Davenport have answered the call to duty for more than a century and a half. From the Civil War through the great wars of the 20th century and into our current fight against terrorism. When America calls, citizens of the Quad Cities have taken up arms in our nation's defense. All of my fellow servicemen and women appreciate your strong and abiding support. The relationship between the citizens of Davenport and the Army soldiers go back several hundred years. In fact, the first American to visit Davenport was a soldier, Lieutenant Zebulon Pike, when he camped here, probably really close to here, August 27, 1805. Fort Armstrong, which was just across the Mississippi River, was established 200 years ago this month. And the security it provided to the region allowed the establishment of the city of Davenport in 1836. Rock Island Arsenal continues the history of the Army in the Quad Cities. And I can tell you, we couldn't have asked for a better home. So right in the middle of the Mississippi and linked to Davenport by a historic bridge, Rock Island Arsenal stands a te as a testament to the vital role this city plays in our national defense. And it's been that way for a century and a half. And many of you have either worked at the Arsenal or you know someone who does. Citizens of this community are helping to build, to build the equipment that is used to secure our servicemen and women across the globe. Now, while we take time today to lay this wreath as a sign of respect for those who have sacrificed, we also take this time to show respect to those who have served and those who support us. Our families who provide that vital support and undergo great hardship to be part of the military lifestyle. Without them, none of this would be possible. Now, while the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan have diminished in intensity, our work on the arsenal and around the globe to increase is both in complexity and volume is greatly important. So servicemen and women on the arsenal provide support to the thousands of military members around the world, whether it be in the Middle East, Europe, South America, the Pacific. That work never ceases. And I want to emphasize the importance of the Quad Cities and the support of our military and our civilian employees and families. 
I hope you know how much it means to a soldier to feel the respect and support that is abundant from the cities of this great city, from the citizens of this great city. Thank you on behalf of this region's soldiers, sailors, Marines, and airmen. Thank you, sir. Now we just want to take a moment and recognize the different veteran organizations because it's so important um, to, as a veteran to belong to a veterans organization. It's all about veterans helping veterans. And in Scott County, if, if I'm, I believe I'm correct, and maybe some correct, correct me if I'm not, I think there's over 15,000 veterans in Scott County. So if you're a member of the American Legion, please raise your hand. Thank you. If you're a member of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, please raise your hand. If you're a member of the Vietnam veterans, please raise your hand. If you're a member of the Stabled American veterans, please raise your hand. If you're a member of any other veterans organization, please raise your hand. Very good, the military officers, etc. Thank you very much. It's because of you that we can do these things. It's because of you that we keep the memories and, and families um, in our forefront. So thank you very much to the different veterans organizations. Now, if, um, sir, if you'd be so kind to bring the wreath to the mayor and colonel so that the mayor and colonel can lay a wreath and then Tracy Hebner for Vietnam Veterans Post 299 will play taps so if everyone would please rise as the mayor and colonel Coney lay the wreath at the flags thank you Thank you, Tracy. A special reminder, on the 21st of May, we will have a parade from Rock Island to Davenport to welcome home all our Vietnam veterans who were not properly welcomed home. So please remember that Saturday, and if you can come out and watch the parade, and please welcome home our vet Vietnam veterans. This concludes the ceremony to open Military Appreciations Week. I thank you for coming. And anybody who's interested, we will read a proclamation at City Hall tonight at the City Council meeting at 530. Thank you very much. <laughs>